sometimes like, I bomb the driver, leave myself a weight, and then end up shanking it. You're going to get quite a percentage of shots that are going to start away from the target. Now narrow the stance a little bit, feel the difference? Yeah. The actual space the body recognises, it's not utilised in the right way with the swing because we're using golf swing programmes. So this is how you overwrite the programme. How you create an effortless swing, how you make it. What is an effortless golf swing? Well, an effortless golf swing is using your body more efficiently, so you're learning how to do that. Recognising how your body does it. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. What's going to make a difference to your game? I'm not 100% sure, okay. you know what I mean? I want yeah, to be more, cons more consistent. Sometimes, like, I bomb the driver, leave myself a weight, and then end up shanking it, and I'm thinking, yeah. I've done that. I've Done that, yeah, yeah. What's Think? the difference? If we're practicing in a very constrained manner, when we go on the golf course, we're probably not going to afford ourselves the scope for adaptation with our movement that we need. So well, the problem is we can't adapt and then we end up making the same mistakes. And we end up being off the same handicap for your years. And you can't practice that really on course, can you? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, what I would, what, no, but uh, what I would do is just um, change how you're practicing here. What you could do is get a towel lift up the mat and put a towel under the mat and lift it and raise the mat up. Mm. So suddenly now you've got the ball above your feet a bit. Or put the towel under this under this part of the mat, now you're above the ball. We've only got to be in the ballpark in this game. It's mm. got to be good enough. It doesn't have to be spectacular, mm. but when you do play that spectacular shot, if the rest of the shots are good enough, that spectacular shot counts. It's strike and spin. And if we can control those two things, we're already in the driver's seat. That's When you see that shot there, does that felt like a slight little you? push? A little push. So you're trying to start it on the 150, are you? What would this? Yeah. What would you like it to do? This ball flight. Hit 150. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it starts on 150, that ball has got to fly dead straight on the 150. If it starts away from the 150 and carries on going straight, it's moving away from the target. So you're hitting straight shots, but if you're not starting them straight, then they're moving away. And what we ultimately want is the ball to be moving towards the target. We've got to put the odds in our favour of getting the ball close to the target more often. Um, and so do it to do that, we want the ball that's moving to the target. Now, whether that's left to right or right to left doesn't matter. And it might not be a lot. Those ball flights are lovely. I mean, a lot of those little draws are fantastic. They're just not starting in the right direction. Mm. But the ones that do start right, you're seeing as a push, okay? Because you're intending to start the ball on the target. Right. Now that's okay, providing we can hit straight shots. But if we have 10 shots, if we got three or four shots, bang on target, we're doing pretty well, I think you're going to get quite a percentage of shots that are going to start away from the target. And if you hit it how you intended, straight, it's moving away. And as it's travelling further, it's moving further away. So you're actually increasing your dispersion. So say your balls are starting to the right, which is absolutely perfect if we want to play a draw. Some of them have drawn and some of them have stayed right. What's that telling you about your path? Path's being straight when the club first. Exactly. So if you're hitting it and it stays straight, your path was the same as your club base. Parallel to it. Yeah, on it. Dead on it. Okay, roughly. If it starts drawing, it just means your path was a bit to the right of the club base. So what this has told us is generally your path is to the right. What we've got to do is we've got to attune ourselves to the release of the club base if we want to play a draw. But then what we might do is we might play more of a draw. That's going to be a stronger draw. And then what's it like to start the ball further right and draw it back? What's it like to come back to centre, and then what's it like to swing that way, start the ball left and fade it. So we're starting to explore this range, and in the middle of this range is a straight shot. Now I just want you to twist your hips for me. So notice how you're twisting your hips, you're using your shoulders mm. to twist your hips. Just twisting the hips on their own if you can, without the shoulders. So just hold your arms out like that, cross them over. And just keep them there and just twist your hips. Please, the hands can't move. <laughs> nice. Mm. 
might feel a bit weird. Separating the hips. Just hold your golf club like that for me. In front of you now. Like that. And that club can't move. Just twist your hips for me. That's it. Brilliant. So we're just starting to disassociate. We're going to need this for sequencing. Feel the difference? Yeah. Now narrow the stance a little bit. Let's make a swing with two hands on the club. But using that same feeling of the pelvis with the pelvis with the hips. Well done. Different feel? Yeah. Notice how the banging of the board precedes the swing of the club. Just have a couple of shots for me, see how, see how that feels. See if I can replicate that. Yeah, just, just a few swings, yeah. Just feeling that energy come from the ground, from that lower body. And not even concerned about the shot, we're not considering that at the minute. It's more about just letting ourselves just explore the feeling of using the lower body. So we're so used to using the arms and the hands mm. to hit, to make the swing. And we're going to start to recognise how we can leave these to just react passively. So it's almost like, you know when you felt the club behind earlier, yeah. just feeling that, leaving it behind to react to the body. Like mm. Okay. So just want to step on these for me. We're just going to twist. <coughs> Brilliant. What I want you to do now, twist and let your arms go. So your arms are just going to slap against your body like this. Let your elbows just go soft. Your arms and your forearms are going to slap against your stomach and your back. Let those go a little bit more. Essentially what you've got is you've got your arms doing something totally different to where you're rotating. So let the arms just go, they're swinging off the shoulders. They're swinging from here, the arms, you're not doing anything with the hands, they're just getting thrown, and that's it. And then, good, good, good. Now, more movement, and then let, them, let that rotate and swing the arms. Swing further and let the elbows fall, let everything go soft like spaghetti, like rope, just that's it, a bit longer, go on let them go, go on really let them go, that's it, yes, now we've got it, good, brilliant, keep going, and then you can start to use the discs to create the speed, it's not painful is it, no, You're okay, <laughs> just, it's just weird, it feels weird, okay, but it's going to yeah. feel weird, what we're doing is we're training your nervous system here to let you use this space, because your arms don't travel into that space in your golf swing. You stop. So essentially, you stop and then you use your arms and you, your body can't work. If we use a golf swing to do it, the body just reverts back to its old golf swing. It, it won't recognise it. So it's like if you try and just change your golf swing by thinking of your golf swing, the actual space the body recognises that is, is there to be used is kind of, it's not utilised in the right way with the swing because we're using golf swing programmes, patterns, and we've, they're so deeply embedded from years yeah, and years exactly of playing. Same, you do, it doesn't change. Keep still and this and other rather than, you know, it's like, it's more of a sway and the, yeah, rather than keeping still and... Exactly, but the sway's yeah. not really, because when you sway one way, your body sways the other and it stays. Yeah. So, and it looks like a sway, but it's actually, when you rotate, it's not. So our perception of what we're doing needs to change. We have to completely reconceptualize this. Otherwise, we don't ever allow ourselves to move because we don't deem it to be significant. Awesome. And then hold your finish. Cool. Feel different? Yeah. It probably feels like you're not going to be able to hit the golf ball. <laughs> not swinging like that. No. Yeah, well, you're going to be surprised. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to clubhead speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. What a shot. Different, isn't it? Yeah. That felt more complex than yeah. solid. Great strike. Face was just a bit open, that's mm. all. 
Well done. Just let's spend some time in that finish so you and your body recognises it. What is your finish? So the body's going to let you go there more and more. It's going to let, let you go there with more force when you need to. Mm. It's going to let you move down and up into that place. It's going to, there's a, there's a safe place. If I always stop here, I never know what this feels like. So I never really truly let myself go. I never let myself really release it because it's unknown. The body's not going to let you go where it's unknown, generally. Good. Just recognising that, stay in that finish for longer though. Yeah, just spend some time in that place. So let's hit another shot. And I want you to stay in that finish till the ball's got to the top of its fly. Hold it there, look at that. Then you can bring your club down now, with, that's it. Different feel? Yeah, it's solid. That was awesome. Solid, that. Commitment there. So yeah, committed well to that's that it, I think I've been played it to have said. Yeah. by trying to keep it straight, playing it safe and letting myself go over that to... Look what you're capable of, I mean that's an awesome golf shot. Mm. It's a big hit. An eight, yeah. Is that the eight? Yeah. Jeez. Great shot. Just a bit of a pull, that's oh. all. But we're going to look at where you shifted. You didn't quite stay in your finish. It was, mm. you, you're so used to stopping here that you're letting yourself go, but you're, you're trying to pull yourself back to, your body's pulling yourself back to where it knows. We want to rewrite the program. Yeah, that's where you need to be. So this is how you overwrite the program. Look at that. Brilliant, what a golf shot. That's a huge eight iron. <laughs> More importantly, it's the fly. Yeah. Strong fly. Strong fly, yeah. Less spin. More efficient motion. How does the swing feel when you did that? Feels all right. Um... Yeah, comfortable, but it's like just letting yourself go mm. rather than I think before I'm like there and there and trying to control it more rather than the swing doing the business. I'm trying to control it yeah. more than the Steer club. It. Just Whereas where are you letting go? Where do you feel you're letting go now? Where in the swing do you feel you're letting go? When you swing this club, at what moment do you feel you're really letting go? When I swing it. Or the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Rather, more, more looser rather than, you know, trying to control that thing. I'm just pulling it back and then just letting it go. Brilliant. Bit more of a hit then. Yeah. More of you. More of you involved trying. Yeah. So that, well, you'll start to recognise how you create an effortless swing, how you make it. What is an effortless golf swing? Well, an effortless golf swing is using your body more efficiently, so you're learning how to do that, recognising how your body does it. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. 